Good morning gamers. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Z Gaming. Stay healthier, stay longer, better life. In this video, we are going to review Leo the Wind Dragon Knight. Before we dive into that, let's talk about basic info on the Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight Leo is a Wind Dragon Knight attribute. Leo is a warrior type monster that battle with the power of the, the dragon. It can withstand enemy damage with its powerful defense and attack. It also posts survival effect such as a defense up and it also has a skill that can CC opponent such as a skill declaration. Leo is a defense proportional dealer. So the build stat will be higher defense high critical rate high critical damage because it's a tanker brusher damage dealer okay you can ignore the accuracy for skill acceleration but if you manage to build it then it's better so try to build higher critical rate around 85 above and higher critical damage around 200 above Defense should be around 5k above And HP if you can make 60k above is better I didn't get his rune better But I will try to farm in the future And maybe I will do second version of Leo video With a, his full potential So for now Let's just uh, review his skills and his key. Let's go! So Leo basic attack is actually only basic attack. As a warrior, 165% is a normal. Then let's jump to his second skill. Torrent. So this skill is his main damage skill. So it's still based on its defense to the enemy and it also apply skill declaration skill declaration is reduce enemy skill cooldown so when he using this skill he will use skill declaration for 20 seconds and the damage formula is good as a defense proportional dealer and when he have 10 Dragon Soul He can use Super Terran One more time So Super Terran damage formula also Similar Yeah Similar with his Damage But it have a Defend presentation Effect 50% So It's actually Higher damage than The His first skill Torrent But the downside is after using super torrent he will lose all his stand soul that's the bad thing because sometimes when i try to use him after i use super torrent or his ultimate and when i want to the enemy not die almost left 20 percent hp 30 percent 30 percent hp then when i try to use first kill again his damage totally low because his soul was gone so you need to timing properly to use the torrent if not the accumulate 10 soul you will waste it okay so let's go to second skill dragon fang so cooldown 24 seconds mana cost 4 this is the most skill i will spam to accumulate dragon soul faster if my team comp can survive longer so if cannot then i will parity healing so if can i will use this skill more to increase the soul dragon faster so the effect of this skill is deal based on defense first skill a uh, first effect is a skill Declaration for 20 seconds also. Then level 1 up defense 
for 20 second per target hit one level dragon soul so in arena in one skill maybe you can get three to four depend on the aoe but if in the sage you can get higher you can get until five so he also good in the siege and in the arena So this is the kill that you will accumulate faster the Dragon Soul. The other skill cannot accumulate. First skill and second skill. Oh, I mean basic skill and first skill cannot accumulate Dragon Soul. Only second skill. And let's look to his passive. Eyes of the Storm. Accelerate its skill cooldown for a certain time. When the start of the battle When start of the battle Accelerate skill by 400% For 1.5 seconds It means He will use his skill Faster than other Monster In the battle No one can beat His speed To use Skill first Even though Even the summoner Okay So This passive Every 8 seconds in the battle will increase another one dragon soul every 8 seconds so if using second skill and all enemy nearby that within 8 seconds you can get around 5 soul so another 8 seconds maybe you can get 10 soul ready so around 60 seconds possibility you can get around 10 soul what I mean by that is First When you enter the battle Unsoul Leo Then he will auto use the skill So let's say it managed to hit 4 pupil 4 pupil including monster and the summoner Then there will be 4 soul Plus passive will be 5 Then you souling Leo You use another skill Then within 60 seconds you can get around 10 soul on early stage but I recommend you not to use first skill as a soul link in early stage you use it as a finisher to kill one monster when you sh sure your damage is enough to kill if not they will heal then you need to take time to accumulate with your soul so what is effect passive is Every soul damage deal up 93%. So mean total 10 soul will be another extra 30%. And at the same time, when the highest soul damage taken down 3%, mean 10 will be total 30%. So we you will receive damage from enemy lower 30%. And this passive also suppress skill cooldown up and down by 100% ultimate also suppress by 100% so it's very good to counter skill acceleration cooldown acceleration monster in the arena so that's it passive let's jump to his ultimate his ultimate is a upgrade version of his first skill called torrent so it become ultimate torrent okay so the update version if you use torrent let's say your I mean ultimate torrent let's say if your Leo only have 8 or lower uh, lower but I mean it's Lower soul dragon You will get Another Two Dragon souls And The damage formula is very high It's good And it's based on Defense Proportional And level 3 Skill decoration Level 3 skill decoration will be around Yeah 0.6 0.6 It's longer 
Okay For 20 seconds And If he has 10 Dragon Soul He will use Super Torrent 2 One time It's a better version of Super Torrent So Attack And Attack Formula is Similar But I think it's similar Let me check Yeah, it's actually similar But it becomes Area effect The first skill also It's an area effect also So is similar and you will lose 10 dragon soul so the higher damage is come from his ultimate formula plus his add-on damage so i suggest you to use his ultimate when he has 10 dragon soul as a finisher also so your first skill and your ultimate you can use as a finisher if not, you will lose a lot of damage and you will be less tankier if you don't have 10 souls. Unless you have a mana, you can ultimate, then use a second skill to accumulate your dragon soul faster back. That's another way. So, Leo is totally more on timing. You have, you need to have a good comp plus a good timing. And he is very situational monster. But, he is very good If he meet Enemy To counter He is very very good I'm telling you So You need to keep Practice Using him To know a right timing And you need to estimate Enemy HP So And your own damage So you can Use His kit As a finisher So that's his skill review. Let's jump to some better for you to see his effect and kit in a better. Let's go! Cut. Okay, on this smash, we are going to test your skill. How long it takes to accumulate 10 soul. So after he's used automatically, let's chain swap then use his skill to get more soul. Then it's 7 ready now Another One more Now it's 10 Then I swap To see his first skill damage It's not bad So as you can see just now He doing Not a bad damage With 10 soul Let's see again When he use First skill automatically Okay he hitting panda just now With second skill Okay, so I will Okay, let's test his ultimate on Annabelle Okay, not bad Almost die We 20% HP left from Annabelle So it's a not bad skill damage Manage to do high damage But Next time Maybe I will try to hit around 30% to 40% Lower enemy HP Then finish it Using His First skill Okay in this video We are going to timing His Attack As a finisher Let's see If it's possible or not Okay Juno healing I'm waiting for... Oh, I used the wrong skill. It's okay. Healing the Leo again. Okay, nice. So, I'm going to wait his tensor while healing. Need more healing. Okay, maybe I can use... Okay, wait. 
okay I think it's the best time to test oh not so effective let's test again in Annabelle I know it's enough to make stencil. Okay, it's stencil now. Let's test as a finisher. Okay, it's a good damage as a finisher. Okay, we have only one soul. Let's test his ultimate to gain tensor. You can use that as a booster. Ultimate. Then you can use a first skill. To clear that's another way so you can use your first skill first to settle all your soul then it becomes zero then use your ultimate to get a 10 uh, soul back then use first skill so you can have three times high damage attack we can test that on the next battle okay in this video we going to try to get his soul to 10 then using his first skill after that his soul gone to 0 then we going to use his ultimate to get to 10 back and use his first skill mean 3 continue attack with high damage we going to see how good is that combo ok now 10 so I need to wait the timing first my ultimate waiting my ultimate almost complete okay maybe after this heal as a Juno okay uh, let's test this okay Okay, test. Ulti. Another again. Okay. This is good. But I didn't manage to use 3 combo. It's only 2 combo. Because of the Garou here. So maybe we can try again. He has 10 soul. But we need 10 ultimate. I mean, we need ultimate gauge to pull first. So let's hold a bit longer to test that and we're going to try on Ariel because Ariel have high HP so let's kill this Garou first or maybe we can use this combo to kill Garou okay that's not a bad idea let's do that method to try to kill Garou Okay, we take 10 first Okay, now we have 10 We're going to wait for mana Okay We need 8 mana to this combo Okay, almost done Okay, now time to test Wait, wait the invisibility gone Okay, let's test this Let's go 10 gone Ultimate Another 10 god, then first kill. Oh, that's it. As you can see, in the 3 combo skill, he can do high damage. So, if you want to maximize his damage, need 10 soul, use first skill. Before that, you need to make sure you have around 8 mana. Use first skill, then the soul gone. Ultimate, you get another 10 soul, then you good. First skill again, then you will do insane damage. It's better like that because 
let's uh, see the kit again. Why this is better than Ten Soul Ultimate? If you compare, if you compare the skill set offers, the Super Torrent three three five point seven plus five hundred. The ultimate for Super Torrent two is also similar with similar effect, but you will lose 10, 10 soul for both skill. So it's better to use to gain instant 10 soul than do damage three times stronger. As you can see from just now video, Leo is about timing and you need to make sure he has his soul you can do a very strong damage combo with his kit so try to use him with combo and as a finisher so always come him with a good support and someone then can make him sustain longer DK is more on survivability the bet the longer the better the stronger they become and all DK is similar if you have Laika Chao or Leo the three is actually DPS Brusher so need to make him sustain need a be longer better for them to shine Okay, thank you for watching this video and being part of our community. I hope you found this video valuable and that it's helped you to build your own Leo stronger and hope you can share this video with others so they get the idea how to build a Leo. And maybe in the future, I will do the new monster on the next patch. So let's see. Are we getting Boomerang, Boomerang Warrior, and the Chakra Mo Dancer in the next patch? If you have any question, or suggestion for future video please let me know and please let me know in the comment below and remember to click like subscribe button and share the video to your friend and community that also plays summoner war chronicle i appreciate your support and look forward to see you in the next video stay healthier stay longer Better life. Happy gaming, folks. Bye. <laughs>